what a day, huh? What a beautiful day we had today. Um, uh, you know, first, you know, just appreciate all the hard work that our kids did throughout the spring. You know, got 15 great days in, um, got a lot better, got a lot of concepts in on offense and defense taught, uh, whether it was good to do against a certain defense or, or you know, good against a certain offense. Um, you know, the main thing is that we're installing. It wasn't like a game plan, you know, for today, even practice today, scrimmage today was not a game plan scrimmage. It's just running things that you want to get better at. You wouldn't maybe necessarily run it against that look. Um, and that's kind of how we go through the whole spring. So I'm um, happy with all the install and, and the, the amount of information and knowledge that our kids picked up. Um, and again, I was happy as heck to get out of the scrimmage healthy. So that's the main thing. How did you think the new format went today? We, that's right for you guys. I think it was good. Yeah, you know, I thought it was good. I, you know, I don't know. It's hard to tell, but I thought there was, um, you know, some continuity out there. What'd you guys think? Thumbs right. up or thumbs down? Which one do you want to do? Thumbs up? <laughs> was, okay, I got thumbs up. We'll do it again. Was there ever consideration to put the ones against the ones, offense and defense? No, no. no I've seen enough of that. No, <laughs> I didn't want to do too much of that. It, you know, I wanted to get out healthy, and you know, and again, the twos, you know, ones versus twos. And again, there's a lot of, you know. There's a lot of guys that are running with the twos that are ones, so we don't feel like it's that big a difference. Um, you know, you lose kind of your substitution when you you know you have two squads going. But um, you know, nowadays football, you have a lot of guys that are ones. I mean, like when you look at the corner position, you know, just for example, I mean, like when we go with the ones, it's Marquez, it's AJ, and MJ, and those guys are all ones. You know, um, and then you have a group of twos, and they're all good football players. And again, that's the same thing for every position. So there's you're never gonna have like you guys are the ones, and that's it. Pat. So basically a safety thing then, right? What's that? Basically safety then is like you know one. Yeah, same thing. I mean, we're still looking to see who those guys are, but we're gonna, you know, we're gonna need three starting. No, safety help wise, I'm talking. About. Oh, okay. The corner safety. Uh, what about safety? When you go one on, we don't go one on one. You're trying to keep them healthy. Yeah, I mean a little bit. I mean it's just a little, a little bit different. And again, they get so you know sick of doing that. When we go to normal jersey scrimmage, we go about half of it is ones on twos anyway. We start off mm -hmm. that way to start, start slow, get them in the flow of things. Um, and then we'll, you know, and then we'll turn it over into a, uh, you, know, uh, you know, small one-on-one -on -one near the end. Pat, PJ right. had the pick six. Uh, he talked about feeding off of what um, Javon and what Donovan are able to do with that safety position. What does he bring to that room that's unique? And what do you think uh, th as this is a capstone as far as the spring goes? You know, PJ, PJ's he's got some juice to him, doesn't he? He can, he can rattle off and uh, he, he's got a lot of passion to him. So. Uh, I was happy, you know, we talked about it yesterday about making some plays, and I, I said, if you make a play, maybe I'll let you talk to the media. <laughs> Good job, I don't know if he told you that, but uh, uh, so he's probably too excited to get in here because uh, he did make that play. It was a, that was a good play, he picked off a freshman quarterback, um, but uh, so I always take that into account. I'll, I'll bust him about that, that, you know, you didn't pick off Phil or uh, Christian, but he's had a lot of takeovers. I don't know if he had takeovers, you know, things on his helmet today or not. Uh, I didn't look at that, but uh, he's, he's had a good spring. What did you think of Christian on his opening drive? I thought he looked really sharp. I, mean, I thought he looked good. He's got a great arm, and, um, you, know, um, you know, he made he made the plays with his arms. He looked good. You emphasize turnovers and takeaways a lot and talking about, like, you know, what you guys look at at the scrimmage. The first and second team offenses protected the ball while the defense was able to get turnovers late. How did you feel like both sides handled that challenge today? You know, I think when we got the turnovers, I mean, we didn't get the turnovers on defense like we'd like. I mean, you had a fumble snap with someone that hasn't taken a lot of snaps under center and gotten a whole lot of reps during the spring ball. So, you know, I almost, I almost said, forget that. That turnover doesn't count. Um, you know, they take a couple snaps on the sideline trying to get it going. We're trying to stay in that ACC two, two hour window for, uh, for television. Um, but, uh, you know, I thought, you know, our offense did a pretty good job protecting the football. When you protect it, you, you got a chance to win the football game. I think we have some questions from the PTS representatives here. Okay. So whatever on the offense day, how much fun were you having on that field of coaching? I was out there praying. I was like, you know, just stay healthy. Um, but yeah, you know, we're having fun. I mean, at the beginning, I kind of got a little grumpy. Maybe is that why you're asking? Because I looked like I was mad at one point. For, yeah, I didn't look bad. I didn't look serious. Um, <laughs> serious. Um, but. Uh, you want things to be perfect out there, but no, I had a good time. I'm, I'm just glad it's over. And, you know, we've had a better time. We had a great breakfast this morning with all the families, seeing all moms, dads, uncles, aunts. Uh, it was it was it was a great day. How impressed were you? Oh, how impressed were you with the quarterback play today? Um, you know, I'm gonna watch the tape, and you know, sometimes I think things that I you know go my mouth, and then watch the tape and go say it's not as good. But um, you know, there's different plays. You know, we start off, um, you know, with Phil, and you know. We started off with the reverse, and it was just different stuff. And then I thought, then, then uh, 
Uh, Christian came in and we got the ball out of his hand real quick and gave him some, you know, some quick passes, got the ball in the guy's hand. So um, I was impressed with him. I think, you know, Christian's brand new. He'll be 15 days into the offense and Phil's known the offense and, and probably didn't get as many snaps today. Um, but I, I, again, I, and I love Nate Urinell. I love his leadership. I love what he does. What did you see from uh, both Carter and Nakai, the two Conway winners? I mean, what, what, what did they do to separate themselves this spring? Yeah, I mean, Nakai, Nakai um, let's start off with him. He, he's a guy that, uh, you know, besides some of the strength stuff he did and, and proven those things, uh, his motor just started turning. He was a guy that, you know, I don't know if it's the light turned on, starting to turn on in, in the bowl practices and in the bowl game, um, but it really turned on for spring. I just noticed, I mean, this, you know, the strength that he's playing with. I mean, just watching him in, in you know, team periods when he's locking his arms out and, and knocking, he's putting a dent in the offensive line. I mean, he's doing, like, ooh, who is that? That's number four? I haven't seen him do that before. So, you know, it was just, you know, he was making more of an impact on that uh, that offensive line. You just, you noticed him in practice. Um, and then it was a consistency thing for him. There's times where you'd see it, then you wouldn't see it for another practice. And you're like, you know, where'd that go? Can we have that back? And he consistently put it together. Spring. Did you see that kind of consistency from Sammy Yo? I did. I mean, I saw that a lot of guys, you know. Uh, but again, Sammy's been here. He's so young that you didn't, you know, maybe wasn't the drop off there. And then to answer the rest of that question with, with Carter Johnson, uh, you know, he just did a great job, you know, blocking. He's just gotten a lot better. I mean, it's again, another year in the offense for him. I mean, he's, um, you know, a second year player that I think uh, can make a lot of plays for us. He caught the ball well all spring. Uh, he just became a very, very reliable tight end for us. Pat, you've had 15 practices, three scrimmages now. Would you say your team is where you hoped it would be by the end of spring ball? You know, without a doubt. I mean, I think, you know, I think we're sitting in a good place here. Um, and like I said, you know, those times when I walked out of spring game, Ryan O'Neill got hurt one time. Desmond Alexander hurt his shoulder. I mean, those are two major, major injuries that happened freakishly. Um, and you know, those are, I mean, those are two. I don't know if you guys even remember that because I didn't talk about those injuries, Jerry. I'll talk about it now. <laughs> Both those guys got hurt in the spring game, and I mean, I think, um, and again, just you know, I mean, Brian O'Neill got you know just on pass protection, just hurt his shoulder, and, and again, Desmond did something. You know, just like he got hurt right there. How? Um, so just to come out clean, uh, we're right where we need to be. Yeah, you discussed the winners. Well, what's the significance for you to have the Conway Award show some of the younger guys? Or Yeah, I think we've been, you know, awarding that since 1974, you I believe, and, and um, you know, um, it's it's important. Just, to, I mean, it's a, it's a great award to give out because it's everybody's kind of fighting to get that, and, you know. And again, we talk about getting three percent better every day, and we want our guys to improve. And and again, you know, I don't know if I mentioned this, but it was voted on by our staff. You know, everybody in our staff room, you know, voted on that. We nominated, went through each position, who is the who's the most improved in each position, and then um, then the next day we voted on it as a staff. So that was uh, it's good to see that. Majority, I mean, they got a majority of those votes. Are you happy with the roster overall, or are you going to go into the portal and try to supplement it with some? You know, you're always, you're always going to look. I'm always happy. You know, I'm happy with the guys we have on the roster. Um, to be honest with you, we've got three scholarships still available right now, so we've got three. And um, where's Chris Peak? Is he here? Is he on vacation? He's on vacation. Vacation. I thought Chris would know that already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gave you, I showed you my cards, uh, but um, but uh, you know, so we got three already. And, you know. Uh, but we're not going to just take three to take three. We're going to take the, the right three. And, you know, I think Bill, Bill Belichick had a nice quote. He said, it's not about, um, the, the, you know, what, what it was a quote. It's not about the 50, it's not about the best 53. It's about the right 53. And uh, we want to make sure we get the right 53. So do you think that those scholarships would be filled by players from the transfer portal or from high school um, Whatever we find. I mean, there's, you know, there's, I know we've got our eye on a high school player right now. Watch develop and it's been on campus in the spring, so you don't know. I mean, it could be whatever. If you find somebody, we'll be out in the spring and you never know what you find. Pat, walk us through the controversy on the kick return. It seemed like the special teams unit was coming after you a little bit there. Uh, they were mad. The referee said they didn't see anybody within a foot of them. So uh, the punt team, you know, because we had the two young punt punters back there, I said our punt team, our punt return team was going to be thud. We were going to try not to take them to the ground. Um, you know, new. You know, I just blame it on the new, the new uh, spring game. Um, we have to clean some things up. But uh, I was back behind Rodney when he took off. But, um, but so on punt it was thud. On kickoff return it was whiz. And I might have forgot. Whiz is you know like we do sometimes a pass gun. We're not tackling. We didn't want Rodney or Sebo to get hit. They've taken up hits. We you know we really didn't need to see the, the older guys. That's why I didn't give MJ any reps on punt because we didn't need to see him returning punts. I've seen enough of him uh, returning punts. So. 
Um, but maybe I forgot there was thud. We'll look at the tape and, and, and see. But Sebo hit it, and the, the guys in the booth are like, he's gone. And I didn't see anybody touch him. I was like, hey, let's let it go. <laughs> How would you say the punt team looked at it? You know what? Uh, you know, I haven't looked at the stats yet, to be honest with you. That was the last thing I looked at. But uh, you know, looking at Caleb Junko at a 49 and a half yard average and one inside the 20. And, um, you know, Junko has been on fire all spring. And Jeff Jurk, you know, didn't have a great Jurk didn't have a great day with his 38 yard average. But uh, I thought our punt team looked. You know, I thought Junko. And again, you know, we go back through. We spent a ton of time. I think I told you in spring. You know, spring ball number one. You know, we spent a ton of time on our punt team. We're going to be better in the punt team. We're not going to be where we were. Um, but as we went through everybody else's punt in the country, I mean, we evaluated everybody. You know, it came down to you know, it came down to the punt. I mean, you know, people that were good it wasn't like we were doing anything different. It's just like you know, it's like having you know an offense without a quarterback. You know, the quarterback is the main guy, the guy that's touching the ball. So um, you know, we we had to make improvements, and I think uh, you know, Caleb Junko has done an outstanding job. Is it did the winners still get a special menu at dinner? I don't know. We, it's supposed to, yeah. The winners, you know, there's a lot of controversy there. You know, kickoff, you want to check the video tape, it'll be nice and give it to everybody. It's a little bit different. Draft is different. So, but yeah, it's going to be steak and lobster for the winners. And, uh, so that would be the defense and the offense would be eating, I don't know, tofu and <laughs> oh, yeah. tofu. Ouch. Pat, TJ and Derek each had nine carries. Derek had 15 touches in total. How important was it to get those two maybe more reps than Rodney or Sebo? And how have those two figure to fit in along with guys like Rodney and Sebo who have a year under the offense and figure to be near the top of the order, you know, so to speak, with the running backs? Yeah, we wanted to see those young guys go, and we know what Rodney can do, what Sebo can do, and that looks like they had three carries a pop and had some pretty good yardage with it, it looks like, if I'm reading it correctly. Um, but, um, you, know, we, you know, we want to give all those guys a look and, and, um, and see what they have. But, I mean, we feel good with the stable of running backs we've got, and you know TJ just being a, he's a he's a he's a, pay, a baby right now, and um, but he's got better through the spring, and um, and again Derek Davis is a big back, but he's thick. I looked at him walking out, and I was like, God, he's, big. <laughs> he's got some big legs, big calves. Pat, Pat uh, now that you've had the complete run of, of spring, who do you feel are your two top freshmen on either side of the ball right now? Two on either side, or one on offense, one on defense. Well, I'm sorry, one on offense, one on defense. And you say the the freshman, yes. the true freshman of the eight or nine mid year guys we had. I would say on offense. God, I wish I had the list in front of me. Um, true freshman, I can tell you, what, the guy that's been probably the most impressive on offense as a freshman has been. Let's see, let's see some names. I would say Israel Pope right now. Okay, I've been impressed with him. I mean, he made he made somebody miss. I don't think he's uh, that's not gonna help you. Thanks, EJ. Just confused me. I'd say Izzy. You know, it's nice to have another Izzy. I'd say Israel Polk had a nice spring and really smart. And you know, there was times they were making him play that the X and the Z. So he's playing two positions as a true freshman. That's impressive. And then on defense, uh, you know, I, I guess there's not probably not a question at all that it's uh, Brandon Lovelace. Um, you know, he, he's he's looked like a man right now. He looks like a guy who can play for us right now. I've been really, really impressed with his maturity as a linebacker, his physicality, and his intelligence. Um, I was able to see the recruit, um, the signee, Zion Fowler, on the sideline. So how do you feel he will fit into this offense upcoming fall? Yeah, we had a bunch of our you know freshmen you know that uh, you know aren't here and they're still in high school. They're going to prom next week. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but Zion was one of them on the sideline. Um, we had we had a few of me. He actually, you know, visited. I think they were on spring break and was here the whole week listening and, and just catching up on the offense. Um, but we, you know, we think you know he's a guy that can go up and get the ball. I mean, he's a guy that can leap and, um, and he's got good wheels. And we'll, we'll find out where he is mentally. You know, the big thing is mentally. As we know, they're physically talented. Can they mentally pick up the offense?